G'day guys, it's Ant here from Empty Nest Adventures and uh, I'm assisted by <laughs> my beautiful Danielle. camera woman D. Um, we're having a bit of a quiet day, we actually slept until 8 o'clock today but uh, we thought we'd do a bit of a walk around of our little Jawa Infinity 13 which is our home away from homes. Um, just to give you some context, um, number one, I'm not affiliated or employed by Jawa, we're just um, really, really happy Jawa customers and you'll probably hear me talking a fair bit about them throughout the video. Um, so just to make it really clear, we're not employed by Jawa. Um, secondly, we've had the van now, um, we've probably slept in it for about 30 nights. We've been on um, the first three weeks of our six month trip around Australia plus a couple of shakedown trips. So just to set some context around how long we've had the van uh, and the things that we're starting to see in it and the things that we love about it and some things to um, just, uh, just to look around. Lastly, with the context, um, I think it's really important to say anybody that's thinking about buying a caravan or a hybrid camp or anything like that should, should accept that not everything's going to be absolutely perfect the minute you pick it up. The most important part is actually how good the company is that you're working with in terms of rectifying a few of the little issues. And again, um, we've built three or four houses in our lifetime and every single time from project builders all the way through to local small um, boutique companies, there's always going to be the odd issue, um, generally not very big issues, but things that need fixed. So um, just again, just to set context, I'm, we're, we're super happy with our van. There have been a few little issues, but Jara have been absolutely amazing at slotting us in, in amongst all their busy orders uh, to get it fixed. So thumbs up to them. So we're gonna start at the front of the van and then uh, we'll move our way around and then into the actual, um, into our little house. So let's go. <laughs> so first thing, DO35 hitch, um, Cruise Master model. Um, we haven't really tested it out and we hope we never have to test it out, but um, it's uh, it's been great so far. I find it really easy now to reverse the car up. I just line it up with this little um, yellow um, stripe and use my reversing camera and most times within one or two goes, I've got it on the car. I've replaced a breakaway cable just with one of these coils. Uh, for me, that was just, um, a little bit neater and a little bit more peace of mind that you haven't got too much hang in your breakaway cable obviously if you've got more hang than than your actual chains the breakaway system's not going to work again hopefully we don't have to uh test that out and lastly uh the arc um, 750 uh, extreme off-road jockey wheel just little bits and pieces that Jawa do to their vans even though they import the van holes from China they do an awful lot of work once they're in Australia to sort of differentiate them from um, from the rest of the market and and some others may do little bits and pieces but I just found uh, that they do a great job gas bottles pretty standard setup guys like um, we carry two nine kilos because we've installed a trimmer gas heater uh, obviously a hot water uh, and, and our cooking runs off gas, so we don't want to be in the middle of nowhere and not have any gas. Um, toolboxes, really easy access. The way that I've set the toolboxes up is all my setup gear, so my poles, my ropes, uh, my um, pegs and that sort of thing are all in that particular one. In the other toolbox over there, I just keep um, diesel, a spare diesel, my funnel, and a couple of other little things that you don't really want in the rest of, uh, on the inside of the van or in the car. Next piece is the tunnel boot. Come around here. The tunnel boot is absolutely awesome. It has heaps of space. We keep all of our bits and pieces, our cooking gear and those sorts of stuff in there. It opens up on the other side as well. Um, but yeah, it's just so much space. Given it's the only, only the two of us, the kids are uh, kids are a little bit old, uh, so they don't want to travel with mum and dad anymore. But um, that tunnel boot just gives us a heap of space. In some of the other models on the Jawas, um, that becomes a bunk, so you don't get that tunnel boot. But in saying that, with a bunk, you can put a lot of stuff on there when you're travelling anyway. Next little hidey hole. This all comes standard with the Jara as well. We've got the Evercool 95 litre fridge. Um, this is sitting beautifully at minus 12 on one side and 2 degrees on the other side. Um, we haven't had any trouble with battery or anything like that. We've also got this really neat um, double pantry to pull out. Okay. Cutting board, that's an extra. Um, but we just keep this side for our sort of dry goods, so our little ramen packets, food, tins, mayonnaise, lollies. They're not for me, they're for Danielle. 
Um, and then also in here we've also got a few things like more biscuits, some containers, and uh, our little jet boil fuel canister. Thanks Jaden and Tiles for our Christmas oh, present. Yeah, highly recommend the jet boil and these containers that open up, whoops, open right up. You can use them for salads. And then they put stuff back down. Yeah. yeah. I think they come from Amazon. So good. They were a gift, those ones. Oh yeah. Thanks to good old Linny and Grant. Right. Packs away nicely. about the jail too is they've just used every single square centimeter of space um, so in here we've got a shallow sort of um, I guess pantry you'd call it um, we keep our oils and reed and stuff to keep the mozzies and bloody flies away um, these are really cool too if you haven't uh, looked into these thermocells you can get them from Bunnings I think for about 50 bucks really great at keeping the mozzies away Essentials in here like stubby holders and just your um, alfoil and stuff like that. This is uh, relatively new to the Infinity 13. The Sirocco, uh, which is a different model by Jar, has a beautiful big pantry, but we kind of like this one just for us. So in here we keep our knives and forks, uh, sorry, not our <laughs> knives and forks, uh, our crockery, cutting boards, and all my gravies and salt, salt and, and pepper, pepper and stuff. Yeah herbs pretty straightforward just packs away really neatly you wouldn't even know it's there this is a bit more of a substantial pantry the slides junk drawer yeah the junk thing. drawer kind of thing <laughs> pots coffee muesli my mat my gloves all that sort of stuff pretty much anything you want just jamming in there full stainless steel kitchen um, it's actually really well configured we found it really simple to use so I've got a drying rack here because no one likes drying up that's where we sort of keep all of our uh, scrubbers and stuff like that cutlery drawer there um, the cutlery drawer that comes standard in it is kind of a bit small for knives and forks but we've just sort of Grab one of these things from Kmart. I think no, it's... no, that's a Joseph and Joseph. Oh, right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, anyway, the knives and forks go in there really neatly. We've got a can opener and just um, stirrers and wooden spoons and stuff like that. And we just utilise this space uh, the best we can and it kind of really works for us. Oh, these are so good too. Oh. I've got these lids. Yeah, these lids go on your can, your beer. On your beer. And then you flip her open and the flies can't get into your beer and there's nothing worse than having a big slug of beer and ended up with a fly in your throat so they come in really handy particularly in Victoria on the Great Ocean Road where we are and there's always bloody flies next um, the cooktop it's actually again really well sized it's not too big but I was cooking a roast in the camp oven last night I also had a pot going with veggies in it and that sort of thing really simple use you just ignite it away and away she goes runs off the gas bottles on the front Another little Easter egg for you, crock bin. <laughs> Everybody should have a crock bin. I think they're 30 bucks from Tent World. They come out in two or three days. And this thing is amazing. Bin chickens and, and all sorts of birds. We haven't really gone where there's any other types of wildlife in the parks or campgrounds, but amazing. No one can get in there. This mesh addition apparently makes it a hell of a lot better. So crock bin, everybody loves it. Just um, a quick look at the awning setup. Um, there's a lot of chat around awnings. We've, um, I think it comes standard with an anti-flap kit. That makes a huge difference. Um, this is a four meter by 2.4 meter awning. Again, it's really perfect little footprint for, um, for our size. Um, just a couple of other things. Make sure you grab yourself some really good ropes. And I'd also consider investing in some really good pegs, pegs because there's nothing worse than 40K an hour winds coming through at two in the morning. And then you actually, um, feel like you've got to get out of bed to pull the awning in because you're worried that it's going to fall off. We've been through some pretty big winds at Wye River and um, our awning compared to other people in the caravan park sat there really strongly. Um, this is a pull out bed section of the Infinity 13. Again, sort of one of those things um, I like to keep the van. We got, went for the 13 because it's nice and short when it's um, when we're towing it, and if we're towing it through, you know, treed areas or sandy bush tracks and that sort of thing, the shorter the better for me. But this pull-out bed takes us about a minute to set up. Danielle goes inside, 
helps me from the outside because I'm short. It's a bit easier <laughs> when you're a bit taller probably, but it works really, really well. Um, we'll quickly whip around the back here and just show the rest of the van. Mm -hmm. You've got your 220 litre water tank fillers here, You've got your mains water in, your power in. We're lucky to be on power here at the moment. Um, Truma hot water system. This is just the exhaust for the um, Truma gas heater and an outdoor shower with the kick-ass shower tent which all comes standard now on the Infinity 13. The actual um, shower tent's really cool, sets up in a couple of minutes. We're probably not going to use it um, a great deal but who knows, um, being the two of us. Toilet, oh, I didn't unlock that, but the toilet <laughs> um, storage is in there, you probably don't want to see the toilet. And just really quickly, there is another generator slide over here if you're travelling with a generator because we've got 340 amp hours of lithium um, and 400 watts of solar panels plus an Anderson plug on the back of the van to plug in another soft panel. We really kind of figured that we don't need the generator. Um, we're camping on power here, we kind of alternate between free camps where we don't have power and water and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, we sort of, we didn't use a generator slide but what we've got in here is our sullage hoses my little um, cook, cooktop um, hot plate and just bits and pieces, hose connections and that sort of thing. Alright, I've just jumped under the van to give you a really quick tour. Um, first piece, Lovell shock absorbers. Uh, really well known in Australia for performance and safety. That's one of the things that Joa do to their vans that differentiate them from some of their competitors. The next piece is the uh, wheel bearings are all replaced with Koyo Japanese bearings highest of quality, used by Toyota worldwide and many other auto manufacturers. And just a quick look under the van here, everything's really neat and tidy, super heavy duty. There's one of the water tanks there, nicely protected by the checker plate, just uh, in case rocks fly up and those sorts of things. So um, beautiful underbody, uh, safety and performance built into one. We found the door really serviceable. You just have to look after stuff, don't bang it around, don't leave it open in the wind and that sort of thing and I think you get a lifetime of enjoyment out of it. Um, we'll jump up into the van, oh, muck mats. They're a little bit expensive but I've got to tell you, the amount of sand and grass and dirt and duck poo from the last place we stayed at that gets stuck to the bottom of your thongs, these are absolutely awesome. Keep your van nice and neat and clean. We've got another one of those We've as got well, a bigger one, but yeah. we didn't need it because this campsite already has a mesh down. All right, let's jump in in here and have a quick look. So um, I'll get you to jump in here. Control panel for all of our um, all of our componentry within the van. Pretty straightforward and self-explanatory, but all these pieces um, are switched on manually. Um, and you can control, obviously you leave your fridge on as much as possible, like us if you're traveling all the time. Battery, because we're connected to the mains, are sitting at 100% and 14 volts. Um, we upgraded the head unit to a Kenwood one. Um, I like to sit out um, by the awning and just listen to music. Uh, another um, cool thing about uh, the Jawa is that there are so many GPOs in the van. Uh, I think one, two, three, four four double GPOs that I can remember at the moment. It's super awesome when you're charging your drone batteries, uh, you know, charging your GoPros, your phones, and those sorts of things. So uh, I find that awesome. There's also a heap of 12 volt plugs and USB points um, throughout the van. I, th I think there's about six double USB points. Could be five, don't quote me. Um, and, and 12 volt Sigalite um, uh, plugs as well. Uh, if you want to jump up in here, Danielle, again, just heaps of storage space. Oh, that's just like the, the junk corner, really. Yeah, but we it's, really it's kind of cool. Um, these are nice. <laughs> this makes the van feel a bit more like home. Shut up. Um, and another shout out to these hat hangers. Um, Danielle found these on Facebook Marketplace in Brisbane. So good. So good. So, so good. good. Really handy. All right, let's have a quick look at the uh, cupboard space in the Infinity oh, 13. Oh, you're not going to open it, are you? Yeah, just really quickly. Danielle's installed a couple of these stick-on mirrors from Bunnings. Oh, my God. Our son, who is a carpenter, has built us a couple of shelves. All right, close the cupboards. So that is really handy. All this cupboard space, all these drawers and cupboard space mm -hmm. uh, at the front of the van as well. So for a little 13-foot hybrid camper, we're traveling for six months and we've got all the space that we could ever want. Um, beautiful king-size bed, um, that kind of makes traveling 
so much more fun as well. Um, it's a little bit shorter than a standard king size, but it's got the king size width. We're both about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so we don't really worry about the length of the bed. Um, but it does, um, it does make it very comfortable. Um, really, really quickly, we've got um, just the little 24-inch uh, smart TV here. That was an upgrade for us. Uh, we like the smart TV. Danielle can watch Netflix when she connects to the phone. Uh, we can also, if we're having trouble with TV reception in particular areas, just use... Um, just use the the digital channels, um, so chan 9 Now and 7 Go, or probably got those mixed up, but anyway, you can watch your digital <laughs> channels if you want to. You can get web browsers, YouTube, all of that sort of thing on your television, which is cool. Uh, we've also got this multi-configurable space here. We're not big people, um, so we find it just really cool. Um, if we're having dinner in here, I'll sit here on the end of the bed, Danielle sits on the captain's lounge, and um, it's really nice. Sirocco fans, um, this was another upgrade. We provided the Sirocco fans, the guys at Jawa installed them for us. Um, they're unreal, they're super quiet. Um, 200, uh, sorry, 360 degree rotation. Turn them on, you can hardly hear them. They're really good to sleep, sleep on overnight. There's three speeds. Um, it's a must in my opinion to have the Sirocco fans. Just a couple of other little bits and pieces that we've modified in the van. We've got a few drop bear pouches here. Um, that one's actually screwed into the wall. Danielle got these from Kmart. That's so good, yeah. Little storage for TV remotes and eye drops and bits and pieces <laughs> that, that you need in the van. And last... And there's another one there for your keys. Another drop bear, yeah. Yep. So good. Thanks, drop bear. And lastly... The, the, the reason that we went for a hybrid, because we've done a lot of camping off grid, but um, three or four days and Mr. McGuire's getting a bit sick of uh, not having a toilet and digging a hole and that sort of thing. So <laughs> we've got this um, beautiful little ensuite, again in a 13 foot van, so much space, toilet, basin to clean your teeth, shower. And then again, just talking about the utilization of storage. Oh, do you have to open that? Yeah, it's neat and tidy. All of our, all of our toiletries, all of our cosmetics, all the bits and pieces that you need. Spare soap. I keep spare hand towels in there. Microfiber cloths. And that just zips up when you're on the road, and it's all done. We've installed a water water filter in here as well. We're a little bit. I'm a little bit dicey Do you want to about open that. That's where the toilet paper dodgy goes. Dodgy water. Oh, another little wet. Easter egg. Fusion locks. Fusion lock from Bunnings. They do um, like towel holders, um, this little, um, what do you call it? Toothbrush holder, um, the toilet roll holder and that sort of thing. They're amazing. We've driven on not super rough roads. We haven't done much corrugation yet, but no issues at all. Because we're in a caravan park with showers and stuff, we haven't actually used the shower here at this caravan park. So this is actually not in place. So it actually hooks up there. And that's another game changer in this brand of van, I think. And a squeegee because it's easier than using a microfiber to wipe it down after a shower so that's pretty much it um i haven't oh power setup so i i mentioned that we've got a 340 amp hour battery in here the other thing um that makes me really comfortable with our choice in the java is the use of enerdrive inverters and dc dc chargers all the way through the van so i've got an enerdrive 40 amp dc dc charger um, we've set it up so that we've got an Anderson plug on the back of the car so when we're traveling that we, we can run the power. It's got a 2000 watt power pass inverter which is amazing because when we're off grid we can still use our uh, 240 volt appliances making sure that they're not drawing over 2000 watts to start up with but most of the things like our milk frother, Danielle's hair dryer, all those bits and pieces, uh, toaster and all that sort of stuff you can use with the inverter when you're off grid. And then the power pass, when you just plug straight into electricity, allows everything to work um, brilliantly throughout the van uh, without having to worry uh, about your 12 volt if you don't want to. So um, probably oh, a couple of other little things. We've got a Dometic DRS system or dust reduction system. Uh, that was an extra for us. The Dometic air conditioner, we haven't really needed to use it Not yet. yet. We, don't, we don't use air conditioning a great deal even at home, even though we've got it in most rooms, but we just choose not to use it. Um, 
it'll be interesting if we get up into the red center or into north wa if we can get into wa um what will happen there so little washing machine um that's for <laughs> off-grid clothes washing we tend to try and find a caravan park once or twice a week where we can actually go in and do our washing but um you know we come from a large-ish four-bedroom house we're on the road for six months in our little 13-foot hybrid we couldn't be more comfortable we've gotten into our groove really really quickly um and yeah as i keep saying jawa have just been amazing to work with they've looked after us um every step of the way um so yeah get into it